assemble the diaphragm plate onto each diaphragm with the rounded side of the plate facing the diaphragm. Apply a primerless removable thread locker to the internal threads of one of the diaphragms. Secure the diaphragm onto the shaft as tightly as possible by hand. Align and attach the fluid cover to lock the diaphragm in place. Tighten and torque between 20 and 25 foot-pounds, following the torque pattern outlined in the manual. Lubricate and install the check cartridge O-rings. Then install the diaphragm install tools onto the fluid cover. Supply about 20 psi of supply air to the air fitting of the tool to push the shaft for the second diaphragm out of the air plate for easier diaphragm assembly. Before installing the second diaphragm, tighten and torque the exposed shaft between 100 and 120 inch pounds. Apply a primerless removable thread locker to the internal threads on the second diaphragm. Screw the diaphragm onto the shaft as tightly as possible by hand. Remove the supply air line from the install tool, then align and attach the second fluid cover. Tighten and torque between 20 to 25 foot-pounds following the torque pattern outlined in the manual. Remove the diaphragm install tool from the first fluid cover. Lubricate and install the check valve cartridge O-rings if they were removed. Install the check valve cartridges with reference 
to the arrows on the cartridge and the fluid covers. Install the fluid inlet and outlet manifolds. The manifolds are identical, but it's likely that the inlet and the outlet manifold will have different fittings. Install the inlet manifold to the ports that have the arrows pointing inward and the outlet manifold to the ports with the arrows pointing outward. Install the fluid manifold bolts Tighten and torque between 20 and 25 foot-pounds following the torque pattern outlined in the manual. Install the exhaust muffler if removed. Then remove and replace the model number labels with the new supplied labels.